Mzansi, welcome to another outstanding episode of African Farming Digital. Now, doing early disease detection can save your animals' lives and your productivity. So, therefore, it is very crucial for you, the farmer and your handlers, to do daily observations to check if there's any change in behavior or overall conditions of the animal because this is the only way for you to determine whether the animal is healthy or not. I'm with Sianda Mabaso from AfriVet and this is what we're going to be talking about today. Sianda, welcome back. Thank you, sir. So I want to know, Zianda, why is it important to do daily observations? Um, because we, 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 we cannot see the animals inside and what is going on inside with the organs of the system, we use the signs on the outside to determine what is happening on the inside. Uh, to give an example, if you look at the, the cow dung or the droppings of your sheep and they look normal, there is uh, nothing foreign, um, uh, you have evaluated the digestive system because that gives an idea that this animal can, uh, uh, can graze, it can regurgitate and all the stomachs are working and also the intestines. Just by looking at the dung, I have evaluated the system. And again, um, uh, 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 there are many things that lead to, to, to diseases. So when we identify them early, we can eliminate some of the possibilities. Um, farmers need to remember again that the, 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 the remedies that are there, are available for them to use to treat animals, they are not magic. So they also need to be using them early uh, when they're showing the first signs of disease. So Sianda, tell me more about the structured observation model. So Africa developed a, a, a daily observation card um, just to assist the farmers not to forget everything and have a structured manner of, uh, of observing animals. And with this methodology, uh, we focus first on mainly three things. is to observe the head, because it is one of the most visible uh, organ even in a big uh, group or flock of animals. So we observe the head and everything that is on the head. Uh, secondly, it is the body. So that is the condition. Thirdly, it is movement. So if any one of these three things does not check, we have to add in what comes in, that will have to do with uh, chewing, eating, and lastly, what goes out. That now qualifies if the three main things uh, do not check. So Sianda, I want to know the daily observation. When do I do it um, throughout the day? Do I do it in the morning, the afternoon? Uh, it is best to do it early in the morning when they, uh, it's still nice and cool and the animals have not uh, moved around because with, mo with movement you have to also observe how do they stand up. When you stand up normally and they stretch, and they stretch themselves, that is also uh, very crucial for us to observe. And again, if there's any uh, abnormalities, we need to do closer examination. That will include taking the temperature of the animal. So it's best to do it in the morning when it's cool because if it's now hot, the temperature can uh, maybe not give us a good reading. So Sianda, let's talk about the behavior of the animal. How do I know that the animal is sick? Animals like uh, uh, cattle and sheep and goats, they like to stay in, in the group. So if they start to isolate themselves, which is one of the common signs, if it's standing alone, it's very common. And normally again, they put their heads upright. Uh, early in the morning when it's still cool, uh, it must not be confused with sheep during the day when it's hot. They like to uh, put their heads down just to get the shade of, uh, of the other one. So it's always best that we, we, we do the observations in the morning. So the most uh, common signs of uh, abnormalities is isolation and also the lowered head early in the morning. Okay, so now let's say now I, I'm starting to realize that my animals are getting thinner and thinner. Is that a red flag? Um, yes, depending on the, on the time of the year, but if they are getting thinner, um, uh, uh, all of them as a group in, in the winter, you, you either not supplementing enough or the, the grazing is not enough. But if it's happening when uh, it's, it's, a, it's a summer and uh, the grazing is good, we need to uh, look at many things, diseases, internal parasites, and all that would be the things that we need to, to suspect. Now there's another tool that you guys have, or oh, that every farmer should have, and that is the Farm Matcha card. Let's talk about this a bit. Um, yes, uh, uh, the small uh, stock owners, they really need to have that card because most of the uh, deaths that they suffer, the animals suffer from uh, is related to internal parasites, roundworms, specifically the wireworms. They suck blood 
and with the pharmacy card that was developed it gives them an idea as to uh, do they need to to do to to deworm the animals and it gives them an idea um, um, of the condition of the blood because if the animals are anemic so that is the meaning that they are losing blood um, so the, one of the common signs that we'll see is to check the inside eyelid and uh, if you are guided by the pharmacy card it's going to sh uh, show you if uh, that particular animal does not need to be dosed maybe the other ones need to be dosed all these questions uh, uh, with the others Sianna, thank you so much for that information so insightful you're welcome early disease detection is key especially if you want your farm to be productive and profitable teach your farm workers what to look out for thank you so much for watching african farming digital and remember we farm better together Get your free copy of the African Farming Magazine now at your nearest co-op and at AfricanFarming.com. Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.